In a sweeping disruption, cell service outages plagued Americans nationwide, affecting major carriers like AT&T, Cricket Wireless, Verizon and T-Mobile. AT&T, with over 240 million subscribers, faced the brunt, reporting over 58,000 incidents during the peak outage around noon Eastern Time, primarily affecting cities like Houston, Atlanta and Chicago. Responding to the crisis, AT&T and Cricket released a joint statement acknowledging the service disruptions and assuring the customers of prompt action. After hours of disruption, the three quarters of their network was somehow restored, whereas as of now, the internet and mobile services are back to normal on these carriers. Whereas other carriers, while not as severely hit as AT&T, have also reported significant outages. Cricket Wireless, a subsidiary of AT&T, faced over 9,000 outages report, with Verizon and T-Mobile reporting over 2,000 to 1,400 incidents respectively, whereas Boost Mobile also encountered around 700 outages. On this incident, Verizon stated that its network is functioning normally, attributing reported issues with difficulties in connecting with users on other networks. T-Mobile, however, denied experiencing an outage, suggesting that reported challenges might stem from customer issues in connecting to other networks. But the question everyone is asking is that why did it happen? Well, the fact is that there is no concrete explanation till now. The fact is that the exact cause of the widespread outage still remains elusive, with widespread speculations ranging from cloud misconfiguration to human error or even deliberate malicious attack. Lee McKnight, an associate professor at the Syracuse University's iSchool, highlights the cloud misconfiguration or human error as potential culprit while acknowledging the possibility of malicious hack targeting AT&T's network. However, the scattered nature of the outage across the nation hints at a more systematic issue. While some predict that this happened because of solar flare which just happened yesterday. For those who are still grappling with service disruptions, Alexander Vikselinski, a professor at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, proposed a workaround. Many cell phones support Wi-Fi calling providing a backup solution during network outage. One can use that too. By connecting to a nearby Wi-Fi access point, users were still able to make call and send messages despite the ongoing outage. As carriers continue to address the situation, affected individuals are advised to remain patient and explore alternative communication options until the full service is restored.